No. Hey. <laughs> Family friendly. Advertiser friendly. Right. What matters is, Sleepy the little. gun eventually made its way to the shores of our sacred land. Oh, see. Turns out rifles were pretty useful for taking out the redcoats in the Revolutionary War. And so, from the freshly smoking barrel of a gun, the United States of America was born. We gotta fix my eyeball. <laughs> in the years oh. that followed, the American people flourished set about establishing systems that would position us as the most resourceful nation in the world. Ooh, ooh, we sorry. invented high precision machines that automated and sped up Poor the rate of production of goods like never before. This process was called the American system of manufacturers, but later was simplified to manufacturing. <laughs> and here we go. This are we still going? Where does this game go? What next? Am I, am I gonna like graduate now and get a job and grow get married? Have babies? Oh yeah, I got a job. You're free to make your own money. Meaning you live, die, or buy expensive cars based on your merits and ability to sell people things they don't need at outrageous prices. <laughs> Stupid. Hold up. A steady income allows you to pay for basic needs such as food, shelter, and high-powered firearms. That's basic why needs. you've taken ooh, up a ooh. job as a car wash attendant. To help our fellow citizens keep their vehicles shiny and squeaky clean. Sure. I'm proud this to job be a service. We'll require a bit more firepower than we've been used to. Uh -huh. Introducing the Johnson submachine yes. gun. Yes. First deployed in 1918 for use in trench warfare. This gun also saw frequent use by friendly neighborhood gangsters to uphold street justice. <laughs> the fully automatic Johnson is capable of firing 250 grain bullets at a rate of 1,200 rounds per minute, Jeez. making it perfect for heavy-duty cleaning tasks such as washing cars, trimming stray nose hairs, and garden maintenance. Let's buy it. It's only $11.95. What a great... And okay. the Johnson oh. must be reloaded with our old friend, the Kruger 1898, which I'm sure you remember from an earlier chapter. Uh -huh. Unless the repeated yeah, sound of gunfire in close proximity to your head has turned your brain to soup. The Kruger's hand apparatus allows it. you ah. to reload and grip the front of the SMG ah. to stabilize I'm your sweaty. aim when firing. Okay, let's, let's give this a go. Uh -huh. First, Hit the illuminated button on your card to get a new magazine. Right. It's not illuminated. Oh, yep, there it is. I know. Didn't it say to catch it? Didn't it say to catch it? I, I thought he said catch it. Your gun is loaded and ready to what do we do with this? What do I do with my hand? Nothing's gonna stand in the way of you and I. What? Ooh. You're on a kill streak. Ooh. Now that you're acquainted <laughs> with your new tool, let's put it to use. You'll be earning minimum wage. But the good news is, you don't have to work a minimum number of hours. Oh, this is cool. The of the Winchester Car Wash are busy doing their part in the capitalist machine. They can only stop by for a short time. Luckily, our trusty weapons tech Oop. can be used to blast all the dirt from their cars before they move on. If you can shoot it off fast enough, that is. But if you do completely clean a car, you'll get a nice pay bonus. Oop, oop. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, pecker. 
in. Great. Got it. That Ooh. guy's looking good as new. Ooh. In the industry, there is a technique known as tactical reloading, where users will eject a magazine manually and reload early to anticipate future actions. This is also referred to as pro strats or elite skills. Elite skills. Okay. And don't spare the bullets. Plenty more <laughs> where they came from. <laughs> <laughs> I love In the it. past, there were federal bans on so-called assault weapons. The government believed that taking away these style of weapons would somehow make us safer. But the question I ask is, what are we meant to do when we see the criminal next door watching his car with his fully automatic submachine gun, while we're left with a bucket and sponge like an idiot? It's unfair, and quite frankly, <laughs> it's un. America. It's, it is on America. See, this is what I've been telling people. Ooh. Excellent work. Looks like it's just about time to wrap up with a... Oh, oh, God. Your stupid co-worker has turned on the hose and it's out of control. Oh, no. God damn it, Earl. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. Is a trip to the <laughs> capable of producing a whopping 1200 kilopascals of water pressure. I have no idea what that means, but the only way we're going to stop it is to match its might with the strength of our fully automatic Johnson SMG. Yeah. No time to dawdle. You're the only one with a gun. Oh, I see. I see. Use it. I see. I see. Right? Uh -oh. I think I know Watch what I'm doing. Uh, stop it. I can't see. Give me this gun. Watch out for those bolts. Always remember to shoot the red things. Barrels, levers, apps. Hey, stop. Okay. Those taps are rough. You should definitely shoot the hell out of that. Okay, we're getting it. Hoo hoo. Hoo. Dude, this gun has some serious recoil in it. Watch out! Hold on, watch out! Hey, hey! Oh. Okay, good, good, got it. Okay. Come on. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Okay. <laughs> really hard. Okay. This, this is harder than it should be. I feel. Okay. The last one. There's not even any sugar in it. You okay. did Ooh. it. Well, wow. Saved. That kind of no, that's crazy. As you now see, guns are invaluable tools in the workplace. They improve productivity by at least 300% and can also be used to defuse dangerous situations. Bad hoses defeated the one. Liberals wanted workplaces to become free zones. Huh. No wonder they never get anything done. 42 bucks? Oh, I'm winning number, the monies. The only thing that stops a bad hose is a good guy with a gun. That's right. Let's head to the next stage. What? Is there a pause button? <laughs> I'm kind of gunned up. Ooh. Can you smell that? The unmistakable Ooh. aroma which fills the soul with passion enough to start wars and topple nations. Oh no, God. it's not me. It's love. You see, when two Americans Ooh. love one another very much, there comes a time when they carry out the age-old tradition of the romantic dinner and proposal. <gasps> I'm gonna propose. Okay. Um... Plus, the couple finds a decent but affordable restaurant to wine and dine. When yes. the moment is right, 
One lover pulls out an expensive piece of metal and asks the other for their hand in marriage. If things go well, they get married and live happily ever after. If one. not, then it's Ooh. it's quite awkward for for quite a while. <laughs> G uh, what's your name, Ginny Taylor? Welcome to La Barretta, where meals are shot fresh out of Nonna Barretta's kitchen. Whilst the proper American diet consists of burgers and milkshakes, this occasion calls for something more exotic. Ooh. That's right. We're going to have Italian hamburgers and milkshakes. <laughs> so good to see you, dear. How was your day? Uh, it was fine, Taylor. Thank you. Mm. It was... That's wonderful. <laughs> this is such a nice place you found. It's very romantic. Well, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy it. Oh, hey, Bonjour. Garçon. No, it's me, Stevan. Stevan. Welcome to La Barretta. La Barretta. You two are looking stunning tonight. And I can tell by the way that you have been banging your pistols on the table that you are ready to eat. Please <laughs> take a look at the many options of our menu. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you will choose something befitting this exquisite occasion. Uh-huh. Okay. Let me see uh, the menu. Uh, the deluxe of the banquet. Oh. I'm legally obliged to tell you that the five people were sent to the emergency room after ordering that. Though you look like you have the constitution to handle it. <laughs> okay. I'll be back with your entree in a momento. Okay, uno momento. While we're waiting, let me explain proper gun etiquette at the dining table. Yeah. In front of you, you'll find several utensils, mm -hmm. each for a different part of your course. Simply use the gun starting from the outside and work inwards with each dish, <laughs> smallest to largest. Okay, fair we enough. We want to impress Taylor, so let's deploy our best table manners and show her that you aren't some kind of ignorant savage. Whoop. That is crazy. Okay, ready. Oh, here comes our salad. Your entree. A fine Sicilian salad served with a sweet vinaigrette. Enjoy your meal, my amazingly attractive friends. Well, I thank you, Garcon. Can I shoot hers? Yes, I can. Hey. Okay. Ooh. Good. Mm, that was simply divine. Honey, can you call the waiter to let him know we're done? Sure. Is that, how, is that how it works? Sure. How can we get his attention? I thought I was going to blow, blow him up. Garçon. Oh, right there. Garçon. There we are. I am pray to the heavens that? that everything was satisfactory. Let me clear the table for you. Okay. In Italy, we use our hands. However, this is America! <laughs> I will be back shortly with your next dish. I, I like your smile. I guess those Europeans are good for more than just feeding the gun economy. They provide a decent feed at the dinner table, too. <laughs> now what? Hello? We have a dish specially prepared for the noble patriots like yourselves. I present our speciality, the Italian hamburger. Please enjoy. Oh, please. It's a pizza. Whoa. Oh, I did that. Huh. <laughs> um, you got a little crumb right there? Here, I got it. Nope. Oh, I tell you what. Hmm. How can we get his attention? His attention. Shut up, I trust that the meal was just as fantastic as your fashion sense. It was. It was a el bueno. El bueno. And we'll now take our next right. meal. God damn it, we got the worst table in the restaurant. 
You see, a savvy American always sits in a corner to give them a full view of the area so that they are ready to shoot down any would-be attackers. Uh-oh. They're offering a $5 oh. discount for sitting at an unsafe table, but I'd say safety is priceless. I agree with that. Now what? Oh. <clears throat> oh. The next dish is a Sardinian delicacy, Kazu Marzu, perhaps the finest cheese on the planet. Ooh, Kazu Marzu. You're telling me it's better than American cheese? <gasps> Gross. This ain't safe. Dude, this, this is that maggot cheese. Ooh. By the beard of Lincoln. Maggots! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get off me! Get off me! Horrifying! This Ooh. is why you should only eat American cheese. Well, I'm saying. Which contains no actual cheese, but a whole load of wonderful things like patriotism, reconstituted dairy, and rubber. Also, that real stuff is likely to give you weird cheese dreams. You scream with the delight, see? You wretch with the pure joy. I knew you would love it from the moment you deliberately chose it from the menu. Now I hope you'll have some room. And if not, just wait for the nuggets to wriggle down into your intestines. Intestines. I will your dessert. Thank you. Can you, uh... Can you clean the table first? The final course of our signature dessert, served in Russian style, <laughs> I present to you Non Baretta's famous spicy chocolate truffle. Oh, hello, Mamma Mia. <laughs> the truffle is infused with the Calabrian demon chilies, ranged from the ninth circle of hell itself. Their capsaicinoid concentration is so over the charts that they actually melt the skull with skin. Consuming them can cause the bleeding gums, hallucinations, eternal third degree burns, what and profuse this? rectal hemorrhaging. What is this crap? Now we got ourselves a game. You and me. What the hell? What is going on? Whoa. Oh, so no. the hey. in that the revolver Jeez. contains the trophel. Fire the gun into your mouth, and if you're lucky, hey. you'll get a load of Nana Baretta's hey, hot Dick. love. Okay. Oh, wow. Damn it! Ooh. I wonder if you'll get your just desserts. This is... no. Don't do this, kid. No. Oh. Oh. Eat it, old woman. Bellissimo! When you put a Russian together with Italians, the results are always explosive, no? Now what? Hello? Put it back? And then we're done? Yay, shoot her! Kill her! What in the crap was that? And where's my gun? Is this what we're bidding? I will spend the rest of my days praying that you enjoy your meal tonight. Here is the bill, senor. Uh-huh. Allow me. Oh, dear. I wasn't aware we were at one of those sacrifice your firstborn child style restaurants. Ah, the right. case. A very good, senor. Senor. When I said I wanted a team, I didn't mean one with the hollow point. Have a lovely evening. Yes. Now catch it I've with your such a hand gun. Things are looking good. Let's set the stage for the big question. Right. Why don't you try picking Taylor's favorite song from the jukebox? Uh huh. Okay. From here. Okay. That's our song. <gasps> you really know how it. to make a girl feel special. And then maybe you light the candle? Time to seal the deal. Uh, I'm Taylor. I believe my friend here has a proposal for you. Oh. Yes, I will marry you. I love you. Hooray! Yay. She said yes. Fire the gun at her hand and pop that engagement ring off. <laughs> 
So my parents are out of town for the weekend. Uh, How about we swing over to my place for the night? Uh, 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 let's go. Ooh, let's go. Oh, behave. Now what? Engagement gun? Oh, we lost money on that. We're broke. What? <laughs> oh, they're 15 cents. Where did you come from? Well, that's quite a long story. You see, you were produced by a method called sexual intercourse. <laughs> now, the ratings Family board friendly. wouldn't want me going into nitty-gritty friendly. details, but I'll try to Parents. explain it in simplified terms that you can understand. Parents don't want to tell your kids about the facts of life. Just watch this video. To create a baby, we need a sperm cell and an egg. Okay. Think of the sperm cell as a bullet. And the egg as its target. Okay. The shooter will position themselves to fire a barrage of bullets towards the target. <laughs> and even though it may take the shooter <laughs> many attempts, and they might have to wait until the target is in the right mood to be shot at, the shooter will eventually <laughs> penetrate the target with one of their bullets. This process is called conception. <laughs> Think of it like the genesis of America. Born from the many bullets piercing the bodies of our enemies. Oh anyway, around nine months later, a healthy baby will be born into the world. <laughs> and that's where you came from. That is where I came from. Bullets. Oh, hey. Okay, hold on. Huh? Boom. Let no, me take what? a moment to introduce you to another one of our fantastic lifestyle products. Once you've used a variety of guns for mid to long range encounters, when the test calls for something a bit more up close and personal, we have the trusty shotgun. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can afford this. Introducing the Steinberg pump action uh, shotgun. I can't afford this. It's short range pellet dispersion and conical spread guarantees blasts that are potent that and matter. powerful for those especially intimate moments. Featuring a lightweight wooden stock. It's a joy to grip, either for yourself or your partner. And excellent. I'm sure those targets felt the force of your passion. Yes, they did. The Steinberg also has a special function. If you pump it repeatedly, you can charge up your shots to get them flaming hot. <laughs> Try it now. An experience not wholly unfamiliar to me. Go. Shoot down the rest of those targets with flaming shots. That's kind of cool, actually. Times until you can see smoke coming from the gun. Boom shakalaka! Talk about a fiery passion. Make sure to use Woo. the flaming shots when you want to get things a bit more heated than usual. Great. Honey! I guess it's time for bed. Traditionally, partners slept in separate beds to discourage inappropriate behavior. <laughs> To discourage inappropriate behavior like being with your oh what? how do I do Those oh there we go separated. It's uh -huh. a little awkward. Whoa, there we what go what are you doing cut that out this is getting a bit too romantic <laughs> wait handles don't you dare light those up. And I will. Ooh. And. Oh, missed. <laughs> this is so fun. Oop. Get it, get it, get it. And. <laughs> Is there one I'm missing? Oh, I think I right. Uh, oh no, there's one right there. Yeah. Oh, is that my wife? Oh boy, Rose Turtle. Oh, this has definitely started to look like a sex scene. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Woohoo, baby! Woohoo! Yeah! Hey there, hot stuff. Why don't we get those clothes off of you? Uh-huh. Ooh! Why don't we get those clothes off? Ooh! Ooh! Hi, hi! I well, guess... if you're gonna do... Ooh! I did it! Ooh. Oh, wait a minute! Are you even listening? No! Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Family friendly, advertiser friendly, kids, babies can watch this, better than Sesame Street. Wow. Wow. Okay. Now what? Intermission. <laughs> Toilet paper. Now what? You're just gonna sit there forever in your own stench, huh? That's the Do way. Do I wipe it? Am I supposed to? Oh, is that what it did? Yep, sure enough. Guess I wiped my butt. We've now reached the halfway point of our journey. Way. I hope you've been enjoying your time in the American dream. What? I've certainly enjoyed watching you grow into a model American citizen and master the use of your trusty guns. As part of our regular procedure, I'd like to ask you a few questions. How many bullets have you fired since the start of your journey? I'd say that many. Oh. Incorrect. How am I supposed to know? 1422. What? What? Seriously? 1506. Good. How would I know that? How much time do you think has passed since we began our journey? Dude, 70 minutes. Good. <sighs> when an intruder comes into your house, which item will help you the most? The sh Correct. shooting. Correct. Shooting Our him. studies have shown that a gun will be the best option in 99 out of 100 house invasions. <laughs> At the other time, it's a chainsaw. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you love America? <laughs> yes, that is the correct answer. <laughs> Who is a good boy? Oh, you're a good boy. Uh, okay. He's a good boy. Aw, thank you. Woof. How many degrees should you spend for a no-scope shot? <laughs> 360. Hello? Correct. Anything less and you're a filthy noob. Thank you. During the intermission, feel free to get up and use the restroom. Or perhaps purchase some sweet snacks or guns to keep your body and mind satisfied and to keep the glorious capitalist machine well oiled. Fantastic. We've got a lot more in store for you, so rest up, relax, and when you're ready, we will proceed. Oh, thank goodness, fellas. I'm going to take it. Uh, take a quick break because I am like veered out. <laughs> I'll be back for the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, take care. Brush your hair. I'll see what I see you. Peace. Brush your hair. Oh. <laughs>